For today's lesson, we will be discussing about segments that are tangent to a given circle. And we will have the tangent segments theorem. If two tangent segments are drawn to a circle from an external point, then there can be two conclusions to be drawn. First is the two tangent segments are said to be congruent, and the angles between the tangent segments and the line joining the external point to the center of the circle are congruent. To further understand the said theorem, let's take a look at this example. Let's say we have circle C and then segment AB and segment AD are tangent segments to circle C. As you can notice, both the tangents are coming from an external point which is point A. From the tangent segments theorem, there can be two conclusions to be drawn. First is, we can say that the tangent segments are congruent. So the tangent segments here are segment AB and segment AD. So our first conclusion is segment AB is congruent with segment AD. Again, this will only happen if the segments are tangent and if they are coming from an external point. So in this case, the external point is point A. We can also put a line or segment from the external point going to the center of the given circle. Now if you will see, after putting or after connecting the external point and the center, there are angles formed. So we have this angle, angle DAC. And also this angle, angle BAC. Now again, according to the tangent segments theorem, the angles between the tangent segments and the line joining the external point to the center are said to be congruent. So from that, we can also say that these two angles are congruent. So therefore, we can have our second conclusion, which is angle DAC is congruent with angle BAC. So again, these are the things that we can conclude if there are segments that are tangent to a circle. First is that the segments are congruent and the angles formed by the tangents and the segment from the external point to the center are said to be congruent as well. So let's take a look at this example and apply the theorem to find the measurements of the following. So first as we have the here circle O, we're in segment DM and segment DA are tangents. And they are coming from an external point which is point D. Now we know that TM is 12 cm. We also know that segment OM is 5 cm. And measurement of angle ADM, this whole angle right here, is 64 degrees. Now we need to find the measurements of the A, measurement of angle ADO, and measurements of angle MDO. Now, first is we can find the measurement of segment DA, and we can use the measurement of segment DM. Since according to the tangent segments theorem, the tangent segments coming from an external point must be congruent with one another. If segment DM is equal to 12 cm, then we can say that segment DA is also equal to 12 cm. Again, this is because of the tangent segments theorem, wherein it states that the tangent segments are congruent. Now, to look for the measurement of angle ADO, which is this angle right here, ADO, and measurement of angle MDO, which is the other angle, we can use the measurement of angle ADM. Now, what we know from the tangent segments theorem, if we put a segment or if we connect the external point from the circle, from the center of the circle, then the angles to be formed 
must be congruent. So since we know that angle ADO is just congruent with angle MDO, then what we can do here is just divide measurement of angle ADM by 2 so that we can get the measurement of angle ADO which is 32 degrees and measurement of angle MDO is also 32 degrees. That is because again the two angles are congruent so we can just divide it by 2. Let's have another example. So same given but this time what we're looking for is the measurement of angle AOD. So this is the one that we're looking for. From the previous example, we already solved for the measurement of angle ADO, which is 32 degrees. Now we can use this in order to find the measurement of this angle. Now since what we know is that DA, segment DA and segment DM are tangents to the given circle, so that means the segments or the tangents are perpendicular with the radiuses, which are segment AO and segment MO. So therefore, again, they are perpendicular. And if they are perpendicular, that means there should be right angles. Or angle DAO must measure, this angle right here, must measure 90 degrees. Now, to find the measurement of angle a O D. If you will notice, there is a triangle here, whereas the first two measurements are given, which is 32 degrees and then the other one is 90 degrees. So we still have to look for this angle right here. So what we will do is, to find measurements of angle A O D, first we have to add the two measurements and then subtract it to 180 degrees. So 180 minus the sum of the first two angles, so 90 plus 32, that is 122 degrees. Now subtract it to 180 to get measurement of angle AOD, which is now 58 degrees. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about the tangent segments theorem and see you next time.